Hello, I'm Darth Zyle, and I'm going to be showing you how to power level your character in Oblivion um, within a couple of in-game days. How to max out every skill you possibly have with very little effort, um, with the greatest of ease. I'm going to be uh, showing you how to do this, and it works on the PC without consoles and the Xbox version. I have the Xbox version, but I can't film the Xbox version. I can only use the PC. So, let's get started. Now, before we get really uh, into it, uh, you need three things for my walkthrough to work. You need at least 100,000 septums. Easy enough, I'll tell you how to get that. You need the Vile Lair D uh, DLC and the Wizard's Tower DLC. So, without further ado, let's finally get into the game. So I've just made a brand new character, because, uh, well, might as well show you what it's like. Um, first thing we need is money, so let's go to Imperial City. Okay, Mystic Emporium, you're gonna go in here, you're gonna buy some scrolls, do the, you know, the duping thing on the scrolls. Get a couple of hundred, maybe a thousand scrolls, just sell them right back. Easy money. I'm not gonna tell you or show you how to dupe because, well, it, there's thousands of videos that show you how to dupe, so just watch one of those, come back to this with all your duped scrolls, and you're all set. Next, you're gonna want to go to Deep Scorn Hollow, because, well, you have to start the little quest so that way you can start buying the shit that makes, you know, this walkthrough necessary. Yep, let's go. Right here is the book. Read this. You got your little thing. You can read this if you want. I've seen it a thousand times, so screw it. Uh, now to Frostcrag Spire. At Frostcrag Spire now. Don't mind all this extra stuff you see around. I have an add-on that, you know, has a lot of stuff here now. But yeah, we're gonna go do the same thing. We're gonna walk in, read a little book, get the mission update, and buy stuff. Now that we have the missions, now we start buying the stuff. So, back to Imperial City, market, let's go. Yes, I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. This is all you need. Please. An Everything else, you can buy later. Next up, we go here. You need something. Have a look around. You won't just find like better before, prices in all Tamriel. Shut up. All you need is one thing, this. I appreciate your business. Walk always in the shop. Now then, depending on what you want to level up, you could either proceed to Deep Scorn Hollow, or you have to do a little bit extra work if you want magic, and go around to the various mages guild, uh, places around the, the map to get certain things. I'll show you that right now. We are here at the Skingrad Mages Guild to pick up uh, two things. One of these weaknesses will be more than fine. I don't really care. doesn't really matter. Weakness to poison. And you get back up and you grab any drain skill. And Thank you that for will your start everything off that you need. Now that we have those skills, we are going to use spellmaking. And we are going to make a... Let's see, where is it? Weakness to poison. 
on self. Because this trains your destruction. And I spelt that wrong. With the weakness to poison, you just simply make it as low as possible. 3% for one second on yourself. Just name it that. And the reason why you do it on yourself is because now you can just do it anyway. You can do it running through the wilderness. You can do it just standing still, reading a book. Doesn't matter. You you got it down packed. So you got this. Go to your spells. Train destruction. Now, the there's a good way to do this. Pull out a weapon, or if you have a shield, don't need to pull out a weapon. Just hold the block button and just continually fire it because now it is extremely fast. Rather than not holding the block button, you get this. And as you can see, it's already gone up. No damage is being done to me. My Magicka is restoring itself before, you know, it even runs low. And I'm gaining experience in destruction. This works with every type of spell, with the exception of Conjuration. But at the same point, all you need then is a Conjure Skeleton, one second, and you're all set. And I got a fucking call coming in. Right, well... I told my friend to piss off, then I hired a band of mercenaries to hunt him down and kill him, so he'll no longer be a problem. Anyways, to, for conjuration, just get a conjure skeleton, set it for one second, and do what I was just doing. And you're all set for magic. One more thing to do at the spell making. You have a drain skill here, for a reason. It ra uh, lower any single thing down to nothing. A good one to use is Athletics, because this is extremely hard to level up. Uh, if you want Restoration, which is also very hard, go with that. For me, I'm going to go with Athletics on Self, and Duration up, a couple of seconds to f for some free time, and that should be it. You, got, you need a higher Destruction skill, but just keep doing what I just showed you and you'll be all set to get the 50. You can also just lower this back down if you really want no time, and bam. So let's just go with that for now. And there we have it. I'll show you what to do right now. All right, so you find a trainer, cast it, yes. talk. That fast, as long as you still see the glow, you're all set. Good that you want to get and better. It costs nothing. Train. I can show you some new train. Just keep training. Let's it. get to. Let's see if we. Now, if you're really cheap, you can nothing. cast it Knowledge each time. Is power. And have it cost nothing. Now, the good thing about this, this guy's only an apprentice uh, skill level, but even at a hundred when I would need master trainers, I can still come back to this guy and it will still cost nothing. I won't have to do the annoying master trainer quests. So that is a great way. You're going to be doing this to level up the harder skills that you need to level up, if you want to level them up, um, simply because it's the easiest way. You're not going to level up athletics by running into a wall uh, anytime soon. You can, just not quickly. All right. Back to Deep Scorn. Okay, back at Deep Scorn Hollow, we are at the Cattle Pen, the only thing we bought at this time, because that's all we need. Uh, before we do anything, we are going to open up our inventory, go to the spell list, and have a Bound Dagger. If you uh, don't want the spell, feel free to use a scroll. It will have the same effect for what we're looking for. Uh, if you don't want to work on blades, if blades is not your preferred method of killing things, uh, you can use a bound mace or bound axe spell or uh, scroll. Uh, if you're unarmed, it doesn't really matter, now does it? So, my, it's already selected, but let's just pretend I just selected it. Back out. Open this up so it's no time wasted here. Alright, got that going. And just slash away. He cannot die, he is invincible. He is here for vampires to feed on all the time. 
time is nearly up. I already have skill increase. Go here, though. Repair hammer. Now watch this. It is 99%. It is now 100%. Exit from here. And now you can actually drop that thing. Wait until the 15 second timer is up. And now you can pick it back up and it is permanent. This thing is brilliant. These bound weapons, they last forever. And when you're just starting out, you need a good strong weapon so you can just continually slash and slash and slash and slash and just get all kinds of crazy experience. Do not do this with a enchanted weapon because that actually can kill this guy and reset and screw everything up. This is also a good way to get your armor your armor are up, but that can be later. Something else this guy is quite useful for is raising your sneak ability. Unfortunately, I just attacked him like a madman, so he is, though still unconscious, aware that I am here. To fix this, leave and come back. Alright, left the cell, come back in, and he does not know I'm here now. I just run to the corner, put something on the, uh, on the joystick or on the button just to hold it down and you will be raising this up in no time. Something else that you can do but only for a limited amount of time is use him for uh, your marksmanship skills. Uh, I don't recommend trying to do it all the time. Uh, actually, it, I, I don't even like this method. I prefer using the trainer for marksmanship only because you are going to be wasting countless arrows on him because you cannot recover those arrows. They are gone once you shoot into them. Um, secondly, at a certain point with marksmanship, you gain the ability to knock down, stun, and paralyze all that kind of weird shit from uh, shooting him, which will reset him and he will never lay down again, making him useless for vampires and sneaking and all kinds of other shit. Alright, next up is acrobatics. Alright, we are here at the Bruma Mages Guild to raise our acrobatics. Strange place, I know, but it's a good place in reality. Um, typically, I don't like to do this. I also use the trainers for this, but this is a good place to do it. Right up here at this little spot, you cannot jump. And you can just continually uh, jump right there. No matter what, you can't fall off. You're not going nowhere. Lots and lots of jumping experience. You can keep doing this, or you can go like what I do and just use a trainer. Okay, that's pretty much it. That that pretty much covers everything. Um, raising your heavy and light armor, um, you pretty much need to go to a trainer. So use that uh, drain skill spell I showed you. Go to trainers, do that. Uh, same thing goes with blocking. There's no quick way to really, you know, level that up. Um, and the armorer spell, um, ability, skill, thing. Uh, in the Shiverin Isles, there is an amulet called the Amulet of Disintegration. Uh, just hotkey that to anywhere on your keyboard, turn it on and off repeatedly until every single piece of your armor breaks and then just repair it and repeat as necessary. It is very quick. If you can get the Amber or Madness armor from the Shiver and Isles, no matter what the level, it's really, really strong and will provide the best possible results. Uh, other than that, there's really not much else to it. Uh, alchemy? I almost forgot about Alchemy. Uh, if you duplicated the scrolls, like I suggested, for money, uh, use that same duplication glitch on apples and cheeses. Make thousands of each. And then just, you know, put the ingredients in and just make thousands upon thousands of uh, restore fatigue potions. You can get to level 100 alchemist in roughly five minutes if you're fast enough. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So I hope this was helpful to uh, those of you that really don't know how to level up uh, quickly in Oblivion. Uh, I've done this for years. I've figured it all out. So until next time, thank you for watching.